What is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the My Gardener channel. A lot of you write in saying you struggle with things like cucumber beetles or squash bugs throughout the growing season and you want a simple way to reduce them and to have success growing things like cucumbers and squash. Well, I've got it for you. So there is one super quick little tip that I want to share with you guys to having more success growing cucumbers and squash and that is simply by growing them in the fall. That might sound crazy but it's true. By growing them in the fall, you're actually gonna be growing your plants at a time when squash bugs and cucumber beetles are not present, they're not active. And by doing that, you're going to simply uh, move the season later on, but you're going to reduce all of the workload. You see, uh, I used to go to a Amish community, an Amish Mennonite community, about an hour from uh, where I live, and I basically grew up there. My grandparents lived there, and it was in a small town known as Brown City. And uh, in that community, there was an Amish farmer that we'd go and frequent. Uh, his wife had a store, and they all had kind of an Amish Mennonite community store, and attached to it was a farm. And when we'd go out there, we'd get lots of different things, but one thing that I would do is I would go stroll the, the farm and actually talk to the younger kids, and my grandma used to, you know, try to, try to make me, you know, make friends and stuff with the local kids, and, uh, I spoke with this older gentleman named Benjamin, and he was telling me that he actually plants his squash and cucumbers in the fall because he told me, he said, you can spend 90% of your effort combating uh, one insect, but how much more could you actually uh, grow and produce with that 90%? Because you only have 100% of everything, right? So there's only 100% effort that you can give. And if 90% of that effort is focused on one insect, imagine the other what the other 10% is being allocated to, right? The entire garden gets that 10% remaining. So if you have 100% of an hour to come out and work on insects, and 90% of that one hour is spent just picking off squash bugs, imagine all the other things that you could do with that hour, right? And so he simply said, it's all about working smarter, not harder. It's about planting at a different time of the year when squash bugs and uh, cucumber beetles are not present. And so that's what we've been doing. Now there's a couple tips to having success with this and it has to do with planting the right varieties. So that's what we're gonna talk about next. So you can't just plant any squash and expect to have success. Now when it comes to cucumbers, you're fine planting almost anything because they take only about 60 to 65 days to fully mature. I prefer though planting pickling cucumbers because pickling cucumbers, they mature super fast and the fact that uh, we can use them in the off season in the form of pickles. So we use the main season to grow our main cucumbers, and then we use the fall season to grow our pickling cucumbers. But when it comes to squash, there's a couple things you don't wanna do. One is you do not wanna plant winter squash. That's because there's not enough time to get them to cure and get that, that skin to harden up before winter. Things like butternut squash, acorn squash, and things like that, just do not even plant them for fall. You're not going to have enough success, or you're not gonna have enough time to have success, so don't plant them. What I do want you to try planting is zucchini. Zucchini is one of the fastest growing types of squash. It's a summer squash. And just because it has summer in its name does not mean you cannot grow it in the fall. I wanna make that extremely clear. A lot of people do not wanna plant summer squash in the fall because they think that they only grow in the summer. It could not be further from the truth. Summer squash grow great in the fall and because they mature so quickly, you're gonna to have tons of harvest. We do this every single year, and it's not uncommon for us to get harvest of our summer squash well into October. So try planting some summer squash. So with those tips of growing things like fast growing zucchinis and super fast maturing pickling cucumbers, hopefully that's gonna help you to have more success growing cucumbers and zucchini in your garden in a completely different time than when most people are conditioned to grow those crops. The final thing I wanna leave you guys with is things like disease. So yes, it is inevitable that when the seasons uh, get you know, later into the season and uh, the weather gets colder, uh, you end up with things like powdery mildew. That is super simple to combat because what you wanna do is you simply wanna start spraying with something like a baking soda solution almost as soon as they start to form their adult leaves. That's going to help prevent the, the powdery mildew from forming. Even when the nights dip down into the 50s and, and low 40s, your cucumbers and zucchinis can still survive and thrive 
if they're kept disease free. And so what I'll start doing is I will start implementing a weekly spraying regimen of a very, very light baking soda solution. I will only use about a half a tablespoon up to a full tablespoon per gallon of water when I spray down my plants. And I do that in early morning so that it has a chance to dry before the heat of the day, before the sun comes out. And I'm not doing it at night when water can set on the leaves and actually kind of exacerbate the problem and cause more powdery mildew. So I do it in early morning and I just come out there and quickly spray down my plants. And I do that as a preventative to making sure that I can grow these amazing plants in a season when the pests are gone but there might be a, you know, a higher risk of powdery mildew. And that's how you overcome it. Super simple. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you try this and let me know the results that you get down in the comments box down below. You still have time to plant these crops. We literally just planted these cucumbers last week and they're doing amazing. You still have time to plant cucumbers and zucchini. Just check the maturity dates and the days to, uh, the days to germination and the maturity dates on whatever you're growing. And if you have enough days to maturity before your first frost, give it a shot. You cannot go wrong. So as always, this is Luke from the My Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. And we'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.